Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today we're going to be taking apart our old furnace. This is a a pretty neat little furnace, or old furnace. It's a Lennox Pulse furnace. This is about 26 years old, give or take. But it's it's interesting. It's not like your normal furnace, where it just has some gas jets and venturis and gas burner tubes like this. It's not like that. It's a little different. Instead, it's actually a... Basically, it's got a big combustion chamber there, and it burns the gas in pulses. So that's why it's called a pulse furnace. So it's got a big cast iron chamber there where it mixes some air and natural gas together, and then it ignites it with some spark plugs over there, and it makes a big explosion and travels through the tube here. And then this looks like a big muffler, I think. And then down there, there is a um, big heat exchanger coil to get all the heat out of it. So it's pretty cool, so we're going to be taking this apart today because it's, well, it's still good. It's just that we're replacing our air conditioner because it had a leak in it, so it leaked all the refrigerant out, so we're replacing that, and that was on top of it. So we thought, well, while we're replacing that, we might as well replace the whole furnace because it's 26 years old, and, I mean, that's, that's about the life of most units. So, But I think this would probably still work for another... 30 years because I mean this pipe is solid it's not rusted through I mean it's a little rusty here and there but it's not like the thin pipe on these I mean, this is really thin flimsy I mean that's like thinner than exhaust pipe I mean that's basically what is exhaust pipe but I mean this is this is heavy duty pipe but it's gotta uh, withstand, the, withstand some pressure from those explosions in there alright so first let's just take this cover off here this is actually really thick steel plate but this houses the fan and check valve assembly for the air intake and everything like that to blow the air into the combustion chamber. Alright, so in here we've got the blower that sucks in the air from the air intake, the plastic pipe that goes outside, and it basically just is a little, little blower. And then in here we've got the actual I have taken this apart before to service it because I watched the guy service it the one year and basically all he did was took this apart got all the bugs and stuff that were in here out and out of the blower and then he um, checked the flapper to make sure that worked still so this is the check valve here so we'll get that out And here's the, the flapper assembly, at least that's what the guy called it. It's basically a check valve. And it kind of flaps a little bit. Seems like it's a little stuck. So basically this is the flapper assembly here. So we've got, this is the plate that goes on it and it has a seal around here that seals with the, um, with the intake. Um, and then, so this just, this piece here just kind of holds it so it doesn't fall off um, or open too much. And then here we have a I think it's like fiberglass um, piece of sheet and this basically when the combustion happens in there it um, the pressure pushes this against these holes blocks them up and then when there's no combustion the fan can blow air it kind of opens it up like that like that and then the air can blow around it so it's just a check valve essentially but it's high temperature the, the intake for the combustion chamber where the check valve goes and then up here we have our fan, and then over here we have our igniter, and the gas intake.
right, well there it is, it's one heck of a beast. It's kind of scary looking, really. I mean, look at that. So I, I was actually wrong, it doesn't have somewhere down here where it, I thought it had another um, connection down here where some of the um, exhaust gases would relight the um, the new mixture in here, but it's actually not that way. So, but I don't think it sparks every time, but I'm not sure. So, so yeah, the natural gas goes in here, and this is actually a check valve as well. So that screws on there, and that's a check valve for the natural gas. So natural gas sprays in here, the air goes in here through the uh, flapper valve, which is also a check valve, so that goes on there. And then you have your check valve assembly on there. So that's your intake, and there's a fan that blows in there. So you have your air mixture going in, your natural gas mixture mixes in there, and then this spark plug ignites it over here. It explodes in there and travels through the pipe, the hot exhaust gases, and I'm guessing this is a big muffler back there. I mean, this thing is, it looks really heavy. And then your exhaust gases come out of the muffler here and go into the radiator, which is actually surprisingly not that big of a radiator. I was expecting something a bit bigger. And then it comes out of the exhaust here. So, pretty, pretty complicated and uh, a lot different than, than the new one. So, yep. Now we gotta pull it out, it looks really heavy.